హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ఆర్ట్ ఆఫ్ హోమ్ మేకింగ్ ఐ థ్యాంక్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ హూ సపోర్ట్ మీ ఆర్ట్ ఆఫ్ హోమ్ మేకింగ్ హ్యాస్ టు ఇచ్చిడ్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబర్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ సపోర్ట్ అండ్ దిస్ వీడియో షోస్ అబౌట్ టాయ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ అండ్ యూ స్పెండ్ హోల్ డే సార్టింగ్ ఆర్గనైజింగ్ అండ్ సార్టింగ్ యువర్ కిడ్స్ టాయ్స్ అండ్ ఎట్ ద ఎండ్ your kids dump it and make a mess within a fraction of minutes <laughs> how frustrated it is you can relate this video to this video shows how to organize your toys and some practical tips to store toys and how to motivate your kids to clean up after playing and this video focus on both girls and boys organization i have a 7 year old daughter and i'll show you how i organized her toys uh, as well as i have a 3 year uh, uh, toddler boy and i will also i will also show how i organized his toys and if you are looking for more organization videos i have created a playlist of whole house organization homes house to home series in that uh, you can find kitchen organization pantry and cabinet organization kids study desk organization refrigerator organization and kitchen countertop organization and under the kitchen sink area organization if you are planning to organize your whole house without hole in your pocket and more organization videos on budget please subscribe to my channel and stay connected and tap notification bell to receive updates of each and every video i have uploaded toy rotation so for the video i took everything out instead i store all the toys in the cabinet which are away from the kids sort and segregate all the toys and store them in a baskets or containers which are child friendly and assign a basket or or a uh, few toys to your kids um, if for a day of two and they are more excited to play with them rather than giving all the toys to them they are more creative with the few toys they can find more ways to play with the same toy and this method works even for the moms and for the kids so even it's easy for them to clean up after playing if it's a small box of toys it's easy for them to clean up and if they are not in a mood to play it's even easier for you to uh, clean up after playing this mo- this this is the one of the best uh, a step it motivates the kids to clean up after playing less is more donate the toys your kids are no longer interested so if they have less toys they have less choices and less tidying and less clutter and less things going missing more calm more play space and more easy access to the things you really love and more play time give them an incentive so if you have elementary aged kids so you can give them incentives most of the girls are excited about going to the park having a popsicle having a play date or watching a movie or a pizza so that they clean up without any argument but if you have a toddler these tips doesn't work and i'm going to tell you two ideas that work for me or even they work for you uh for ask ask your toddler to put all your toys to sleep before he going to bed and tell him that that his toys get cranky if he did not put him the, to the sleep and other tip is toy fairy if he did not keep away all the toys after playing toy fairy comes in the night and take away the toys this tip really works for the uh, toddler boys and if if he didn't listen listen to that just put away his favorite toy and tell him that toy fairy took it break it down break down big jobs into small tasks to make it seem more manageable even for adults uh, looking at a huge mess 
can seem like a big task and we are not interested to clean up same thing happens with the kids if the kids are sorted in small uh, storage boxes as per their choice it's even easier for them uh, to focus more on that and easy for them after uh, clean up after playing so focus on one little task at a time and praise your child for their efforts these are some of the tips uh, that helps but still they are kids we cannot uh, stress them more be patient and keep saying until they get to a routine now i'm going to show you how i organized my both of my kids toys and my daughter is going to do the voice over hello everyone so my mom will put not so interested toys in this bin and she will check if we are playing with them or not and when and when she sees us not playing with them she will donate them next is the stuffies we keep me and my brother's stuffies in here these are all summer toys if required we usually take them outside in in this green basket there is water guns bowling pins jump ropes and all sorts of stuff My mom printed out some labels of a car and she she um attached it to a drawer with tape so my brother knows how to clean clean up after himself by looking at the picture. Next is the figurines cabinet. My mom attached stickers so my brother will know and there is my keeps all his um favorite figurines in here it is for both me and and my brother next is random toys we keep all random toys that do, that don't have a type of category we keep all our toys me and my brothers next we have big cars Sometimes our big our big cars don't fit in the keep them in a separate box. We keep a construction set in this box. It's a thought a train set. A construction set so we put this in here so we know how to construct stuff. We play them and put them back in the box. Next there is a race car truck. which it's like a puzzle and we we can build it we play them we play, we play with them we put them back next so games um take up a lot of space and the boxes especially are are the thing so my mom puts all the games and boards into a ziplock bag and she stores them in this white basket there is boards there is boards puzzles and and all sorts of things even legos and instructions and instructions and board and boards for the games sometimes you play our games in the living room or the bedroom so so my mom organized it this way we put all our games into a ziploc bag now it is easy to carry everything and put without any scatter This is my doll basket. I like to comb the hair and do special hairstyles. So I keep all the hair brushes, combs and other accessories for this in this little ba- box. Next. Next is this is my kitchen playset. When I'm done, I put all the things that come with the set in this little storage so it stays clean for a long time bracelets soaping sets and necklaces and nail polish kits and beads to make bracelets in the in the cabinet my mom gives them to me when i want them and she and i play with them and i put them back for the video my mom took everything out but she usually puts them in the cabinets 
If you like our ideas, please give us a big thumbs up.